This video is a collection of tips and tricks that I didn't put into my main video on how to fix door cable housing ends. I took these out of the main video because it was getting too long, but some people might find these clips helpful. If you're having trouble getting your door open, watch my video on how to open a stuck latch. It tells you how to manually trigger the latch even when the inner cable has been pulled out of the latch. Since this video is about how to fix the cable in several different vehicles, I don't want to bog the video down with a bunch of instructions that are just for this particular truck. So I'm not going to show how to remove the panel or how to open the door, but I'll put links to videos on the parts that I skip in the information section. Some of the cables have these yellow clips on the handle end. To get the clip free of the handle mechanism, you have to push in these two tabs. For the clips that face you, you can just squeeze the two tabs in and push the clip through the hole. For the clips that aren't facing you, you'll need to get your hand or something behind the clip to push the two tabs in while you pull on the clip. If your cable has a yellow clip on the end, you probably won't need to remove the clip, but just in case you do, it's nice to know how they're put together so you aren't as likely to break them. If your clip looks like this, there's a tab right here that snaps under this lip. You have to push something about a sixteenth of an inch or more thick under this lip to force the tab out beyond the lip. If your clip looks like this, you can probably open the clip with your thumb. If not, just put a small screwdriver in this slot and twist the screwdriver. To put the clip back on, just snap it around the threaded end of the cable. If you break a clip, you can find replacements in most chain auto parts stores. I'll put some more information about these clips in the information section also. Some of the cables have adjustable clips on the end. To adjust the cable length, place the snap together post on the end of the cable and pull tension on the cable to make sure everything is seated well, and then release the cable. Hold the base of the cable in and screw the clip in or out until the clip lines up with the hole. Push the clip through the hole until the clip snaps in place. Use a screwdriver to push the latch in until it clicks twice. Use the shaft of the screwdriver to pull on the latch to make sure the latch holds. If the latch doesn't click or it won't stay latched, release the clip and then turn the clip counterclockwise one turn. Repeat until it stays latched. Pull the handle to make sure the latch releases. If the latch doesn't release, release the clip from the handle and turn the clip clockwise one turn. Repeat until the latch releases when you pull the handle. Once you're confident that you have the adjustment correct, make sure all the latches are released and shut the door. Make sure all latches catch and release correctly. You don't have to remove the cable from the latch, but it'll probably be easier to work on if you do. On some of the latches, it's pretty easy to remove the cable. You just lift it straight out. Reinstalling the cable in this type of latch is just as easy as getting it out. Just snap it back in place. On this type of latch, the latch releases pretty quickly, but it can be pulled all the way to the edge of the latch. So cut the adjuster pretty short. The latch release might hit the adjuster, but it shouldn't stop the latch from working. You probably won't need to remove the cable out of a latch like this one, but just in case you do, here's how to do it. Push the cable into the latch so there's a little bit of slack. Then, using a small screwdriver, 
press the cable against the side of the latch while you use the screwdriver to slide the cable toward the front of the latch. To reinstall the cable, push it back inside the latch. Use a small screwdriver to push the cable against the side of the latch while you push the cable beyond the first groove in the release lever. Once you finish putting the cable in the door, these ends will stay in place because there's a little tension on the cable and the housing, but until then they do tend to fall off pretty easy. If you need to, put a piece of tape over the slot so the adjuster won't fall off and get lost inside the door. You can wrap the cable housing in something like duct tape so the adjuster has a snug fit but don't make it so tight that the housing can't be pushed all the way into the bottom of the adjuster. You can also tape the adjuster to the cable housing. When you press the new cable housing end into place, it might be too loose. You can use a set of pliers to pinch the slot around the adjuster. Another option is to tape or glue the cable and adjuster to the latch or bracket. Some of the 10 mm adjusters can accept the cable from either direction, so you might be able to flip the adjuster around and use the jam nut. Align the slots and install the cable before you tighten the jam nut. If you do need the adjuster slot facing a certain direction, instead of filing the groove all the way around the adjuster, just file the groove three quarters of the way around the adjuster so it can't rotate. For some of the cable ends, you can use a small shaft adjuster that's only six or seven millimeters wide. Just cut the adjuster to length and then slip it into place without cutting a groove. Or you can file all of the threads off of a 10 millimeter adjuster. This might be easier for people that aren't good with hand tools. If you want to install the adjuster with the cable already inside it, put the adjuster on the cable and then press the adjuster into the slot. You can help my ranking the most by sharing this video on a forum but you can also help me by giving a thumbs up or making a comment. Thanks for watching.